everyone, and welcome to Insane Tuesdays. I'm Insane Ian. And I'm JT Tuesday. And that's where the name comes from. It's not just a thing we decided to post on Tuesdays, it's our name. Yes. It's our name combined, and, and we are playing Geo Parody. Geo Parody? Uh, Geo Parody, yes. It's, it's parody songs about geographic locations. Yes. No. Uh, Jeopardy. This is Jeopardy, as he just said. So yeah, we're gonna play some Jeopardy and see. We're pressing the any button. Uh, yes, okay. Save icon. We know. Yeah, read uh, epilepsy warning. It's fine. We're gonna we're gonna play Jeopardy, you and I. Okay. And up against a third player. Uh, we're gonna uh, now we're gonna play Jeopardy classic mode. Uh, hit the a X button on your controller. All right, and let us go down to this and make, yeah, let's make them medium, because easy was kind of far too easy when I played it day of the time. It's like, okay, okay. but uh, all right, let's go to, we're going to, we're going to play ourselves a, a quick Jeopardy game. Um, all of the categories, I usually don't like the sports stuff, but that's mixed in with the pop culture, so I like the pop culture. Obviously, usually when I play by myself, pop culture and potpourri are usually all I select in lifestyle and academia I leave out. Because <laughs> I'm stupid about other things. All right. We're going to play some Jeopardy. All righty. Let's welcome today's contestants. I've won a lot of money before. You're new and haven't won anything because you're a guest. <laughs> and Robert is the computer. All right. Let's and your host, the Alex Trebek. Not even. No, no Trebek! No back. Trebek, no hosts in this. to 12 years. People from Pennsylvania. I know the Jeff Whitmire's from Pennsylvania. <laughs> We've got your number. Once upon a November. No, man, these categories suck. And choose who plays first. Player two. Oh, yay! You select a category. JP Tuesday. So, uh, let's see, let's or try... guest. Let's say miscellaneous for 200. Sounds good. Contrary to its name, this yellow mustard brand introduced in 1904 is American. I know what that is. Well done. I am fast on the buzzer. Player one, which category would you like? Uh, you know what? Let's play miscellaneous for 400. It's the capital of New Zealand. I think I know what that is too. I'm gonna buzz in and, oh, I'm wrong. Uh, no, it's maybe Wellington? Indeed. Yeah! I was gonna say Auckland, but that wasn't one of the choices. <laughs> <laughs> Miscellaneous for 600. The following image. Six letter word describes the figure seen here with one set of parallel lines longer than the other. Rectangle is more than six letters. See, we don't get to see the choices when the AI chooses. No, sorry. Alright, you want to give it a shot? Let's try it. Oblong, you're right. Well done. Yay, Oblong. Yay, the Oblongs. That was a fun show. Did you ever watch that? <laughs> I did watch the Pick Oblongs. Category. That's pretty great, man. Let's keep it going, 800. Look at the following image. Oh, I know what that is. Aha, I buzzed in first. It's, it's help, because that is SOS, literally yeah. SOS. Yeah. Exactly. I know Morse code. No, I just know what SOS is in Morse code. Player one. <laughs> Which category would you Yeah, like? I'll, I'll finish it off. Observe the following image. Solve for X. God damn math! Math! I hate math. I don't know how to math. Totally a song I did with Worm Quartet. That's not it. Oh, well. One ninth, uh, uh, you know what, square root of nine and... Uh, I'm gonna do this. Correct. Yeah, I guessed it. I had no idea. I guessed on a math question and got it right. Suck that, middle school teachers! Oh, <laughs> uh, we've got your number for 200. World War II is the total number of stars on the U.S. flag. Um... I have no idea. 
48? Yes. Oh, I'm going to guess. Nicely good. Done. Yeah. Get messages over there. Yeah. The you're, you've, you're phoning a friend. <laughs> Wrong game. Look at the following image. Completely fill the largest container here. You will need to fill this many fluid ounces of water. How many fluid ounces are in a cup is basically what it's asking. Ooh, Robert. Ten? I'm sorry. No, no, no. no. I think I know it. I think I know it. I think I know it. Wrong. I was wrong. So, gee, multiple choice. I think you can get this one. <laughs> the only one we didn't guess. Ten, I guess. No, that's what Robert guessed. <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> it was eight. I wasn't paying attention. Because <laughs> that was... My messages. <laughs> oh one. goodness. Which okay. Which category would you like? This is me choosing. I'm yeah. I'm gonna go on the A one hundred. The great seal of the U.S. E. Eagle's right talent holds an olive branch with this many leaves. What? <laughs> ah. Um. Uh. uh seven. Sorry. I'm that's wrong. Three. Uh, uh, I think it's three. It might be three. No, no, that's, that's, no that's 13. Robert's gonna get it unless he pulls a U. <laughs> pull, pull a GP! <laughs> ah! You are correct. Dang it. Well, he's out of the negatives now. No, he's still in the negatives. Player three. The math. It's your turn to choose a category. <laughs> when the number of these Martin Luther posted of these at church door in 1517. Number of theses. Oh, uh, he did a lot. Um, I'm guessing numbers. No. Ah! I've lost. Oh, sh crap. I'm down to 200 bucks. But I'm not in the negative like you two. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> I was going to guess that first. I should have stuck with my stomach gut guess. Stomach gut guess. I speak real goodly on this. Yes. According to Hoyle, the highest number a blackjack dealer may have to take hit it on is soft this. Oh, okay, I know this. Because I play blackjack. Incorrect. What? Alright, then it's 17. Oh, I just gave you the answer. Oh, you can't buzz in early. You have to wait for it to say buzz, and then it locks you out if you Dude. buzz in early. It's 17, Indeed. yeah. Because usually I, I don't hit on 16 and up. Uh, that's just personal way I play, apparently. The canal between a raving desert and this... Sinai Peninsula, formerly opened in November 17th, 1869. This canal. What is the canal name? Panama Canal? Sorry, but that's, that's incorrect. Arabian Desert in the Sinai Peninsula. I think it's, uh, it's the Suez. Correct. Yeah. I'm out of the negative. Nope, still in the negative. I can't math. Category. All right, you know what? We're going to get me out of the negative. The <laughs> be full image. Oh, gee, I know this one because I'm from Baltimore. Towson has the biggest team of lacrosse players. Yeah. <laughs> I am with the smartness. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the thousand. Look at the following image. Oh, I know this. Uh, Shaun of the Dead. Uh, who's faster on the buzzer? It's me. <laughs> cricket. You gotta know what a crumpet is to understand cricket. cricket. What is that from? It's so familiar. Turtles. Ah, that's right. That's right. That's from uh, the first, first Turtles movie. First Turtles movie. Casey Jones. It's a daily. Yeah. <laughs> How I'm much sorry. Would you like Th to wager? This is why my girlfriend refuses to play me in this game <laughs> because I'm too fast on the buzzer. Observe the following image. Oh yeah. We were just playing this at, at, at uh, Summer Games with Barfleet. This is Croquet. Crockett! Yes, correct. <laughs> I gotta get out of the negative at some point. Yeah, you gotta just be Look faster on the buzzer the than image. me, which is tough. I did a song about this. I know, I heard it. Ha! <laughs> eh, 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 buzzer! Ping Pong, my parody of, uh... Yes. What's the original called? I don't remember. Ba uh, bang, bang, bang Bang or something like that. Yeah, Bang Bang. It's a... Uh... Observe the following image. I know what items are. That's basically what this category has been. <laughs> what is this thing? 
<laughs> I like that one of the, one of the options was stick ball. Yes. We're doing so well in this one. We? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I, collectively. You. Collectively, all of us. Since the first one in 1790, there's been this many years between each U.S. census. Uh, all right, Robert. Well done. Oh, so I guess the answers are between 10 and Player 12 three. years. It's your turn <laughs> to choose a category. It's going for eight and once upon a November. The colonist response to this act that went into effect November 1st, 1765. No taxation without representation. Oh, oh, you. You. Duh. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I'm losing this one. You are uh, not doing great. Indeed. That was DC's motto that's on their license plates. Player one, pick a category. <laughs> From the East Coast, Maryland area, that's me. The Oracle of Delphi told this Greek hero he had to perform labors for the King Eurysthenes for 12 years. Uh, that's Hercules and his... Heracles and his 12 labors. Yes, correct. I know my Greek mythology. <laughs> After Hidalgo's rebellion in 1810, this Western Hemisphere country, country fought 11 years for independence. Western Hemisphere country. All right, Robert, you're so smart. That's not it. No. Care, care to, care to I'll guess? I'll try it. All right. It's Argentina. Probably wrong. Sorry. No. No. Nope. Nope. Which means I love multiple choice because that means I can get it right. <laughs> Mexico. That's right. Yeah. It's the Mexican War. A Mexican War. I don't know if it's the Mexican War, because I don't know that much history. <laughs> Taking 12 years to build, La Giralda is a minaret in Seville in this country. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm guessing Italy. No, that's oh. incorrect. He was guessing Italy, too, and got it wrong. Spain. Yeah, it's Spain. It's, That's it's, cool. Yeah, Seville is yeah. in Spain. Good job. I was, two. I was Which thinking the Barbara of Seville. Yes, that's what I was thinking. All right, you know what? Let's finish it off. Yeah. Notice by Galileo in 1610. These on the sun wax and wane in 11 year cycles. Ooh, waxing and waning of the tides. That's not it. Oh, oh damn it! Almost a thousand dollars on that one. So it's thoughts. Exactly. Yay! Yay! You are out of the negative. You've been out of the negative. Well, you're at the. Even. I'm at zero. <laughs> well, it's better than Robert. So quickly pick a category. That's right, Pennsylvania. As a teen in Philly, this Suicide Squad star began rapping under <laughs> the name of the <laughs> Fresh Prince. You can't buzz in early. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Ice Cube. Clearly, no. <laughs> it's. <laughs> This game isn't fair. <laughs> That's the thing, it does that in the actual Jeopardy game, like on TV. If you buzz in early, it locks you out. Sweater worn by this TV host who had his own neighborhood for kids and PBS was displayed at the Smithsonian. I know this one too! It's Jeff Whitmire! <laughs> it's Captain Kangaroo, isn't it? <laughs> it's Mr. Rogers. Precisely. Ah, I just watched the Mr. Rogers vs. Mr. T epic rap battle of history. <laughs> Uh, there's this dude who's been, like, reacting to Weird Al videos, and he's been reacting to the ERB videos, too. So, that was really cool. Birdman Star was born with the same name, with the name Michael Douglas, so he used a stage name to avoid confusion. That would be... Batman. Mr. Michael Keaton. <laughs> Michael Fatbender. Well done. Yeah, Michael Keaton's real name is Michael Douglas. Did yeah. you know yes, that? Yes, I did know that. Yay! Hey, if you knew this and you're watching it, put it in the comments that you knew it, and we'll believe you. Not Willy Wonka built a chocolate factory in Pennsylvania town that was renamed for him. I know this because I've been to the park many times. That was Milton Hershey. You Hershey right. Park. Yeah. Hershey, Pennsylvania. Here's, here's a fun fact. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to do these events uh, as gigs, as an actor. That's where I actually dealt blackjack. Was at a party in Hershey, Pennsylvania. 
Uh, Scream, Alan Sonia, 1942. Uh, I don't know this one. But my dad at that event played Milton Hershey. <laughs> and he looks exactly like Milton Hershey. It's kind of disturbing. Biden. Oh, Grandpa Joe. It's another tie into the Willy Wonka thing it's there. It's your turn to <laughs> choose a category. November 25th, 1981. First Lady gave birth to twins in Dallas. Oh, God. Uh, the Zipalara Bush? That's right. Yeah! <laughs> I guessed! <laughs> I like shouting. I'm sorry. This thing's gonna Which peak. Yeah, it, like? it's, it's fine. We're just sitting next to it. Paris saw the Pacific Ocean for the first time in the mouth of the Columbia River on November 7th, 1805. I think I know who this is, too. Uh, I'm saying Lewis and Clark. Yes. Correct. Yeah! <laughs> I'm a smart boy! And I'm Not gonna finish true. off... The last one, November 29th, 1929, he sent the message. My calculations indicate that we've reached the vicinity of the South Pole. Who said it? Um, Robert's going to guess. And I'm going to hope he's going to get it wrong. Robert Peary? That's not what we were going for. Don't know who that is. Uh, now he's in the negative. You're beating him! I know, right? <laughs> Alright, I'll take a chance. Uh, Richard Bird sounds right. That's I, it. Hey, and I guessed it, and I was right, so that's cool. At the end of the Jeopardy round, here are the placements. Okay, so I'm leading. You are at zero, and Robert is at negative Let's take 1, a look 000. at the Double Jeopardy rounds categories. We're going to take a look at Double Jeopardy nice on the see. next episode. Water around the world. Oh, well, let's see the categories. On the cutting edge. On the cutting edge. In the director's chair. Oh, I'm gonna get at that one. A flower by any other name. Well, the smell is sweet. Medicine. Okay, so next time more Jeopardy. Next time more Jeopardy. That'll be next episode of Insane Tuesdays. Stick around for that. Hey, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. That's my harmonics. I was in my science class when I heard the students laugh. Couldn't do the lab because I don't know how to math. I just can't understand the simplest problems when it comes to math. I just don't know how to solve them. Try as I might, I always need a...